Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In this lesson, you will learn how to insert lists and drop-down menus into forms. Using drop-down lists is a good way to provide lots of information while keeping your web page looking neat. To begin, insert a form container into a web page and make sure that the insert panel is set to forms. Let's insert a drop-down list into this web page. First, click to place the blinking cursor within the form container. Next, choose Select List Menu from the Insert panel. The Input Tag Accessibility Attributes dialog box will open. Type a one-word description for your list into the ID text field. I'm going to type in Supplies. Next, type a label to identify your list in the Label text field. This is going to be the text that will be next to the list on your web page. I'm going to type in School Supplies. Check the appropriate radio button to place the text either before or after your drop-down list, and then click OK to confirm your selections. You will see a blank drop-down menu appear in the form container. Now, click within the menu's text field to select it. Next, click on the List Values button found in the Properties Inspector. The List Values dialog box will open. Click in the white space below Item Label and type in your text for each menu item. These will be the items on your drop-down list. I'm going to make the first one Books. To add more menu items, click the plus icon in the List Values dialog box. A new text field will appear below the first menu item. Type in the next item on your list. I'm going to type Pencils. Repeat this process until you complete your list. If you want to move an item up or down the list, you can do so by first clicking on the item you want to move and then using the small black Move Up and Move Down triangle icons to adjust the ranking of your items. When you are done creating your list, click OK to confirm your selections. The list items you entered are now in the drop-down list. However, visitors will only see one item at first before clicking into the menu. To choose which item is first seen by visitors, click to select it from the initially selected field in the Properties Inspector. If we look at this page using Live View mode, the red dotted form container disappears and I can see that my drop-down list is functioning perfectly. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.